Hey, Vinyl Community, Mark here again from Sam Matters, covering all things vinyl as always. Today, we are going to talk about the Humble Carbon Fiber Record Brush, a tool that's been around for a very, very long time, of course, and I believe still is one of those essential tools that every record collector should have in their cleaning arsenal. But there is a little bit of debate about which way is the safest way and correct way to use one of these brushes. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the different methods today, and then I'll relay which one I believe is the most safe and most effective way to use one of these carbon fiber record brushes based on the advice that's given out directly by AudioQuest, the guys who make this particular model themselves. So let's get straight into it, into the different methods, and then you can let me know what you think down in the comments below. The correct method to use a carbon fiber record brush is as follows. With the record spinning, gently hold the brush over the record so that the carbon fibers just tickle the surface. If they're squashing flat onto the record surface, they won't work properly. You want to allow the fiber tips to penetrate the grooves. Most of the dust will gather at the front fibers. So now gently scoop up the front fibers, allowing the rear set of fibers to catch anything missed by the front. After this, lift the brush directly from the record surface. Don't push it towards the center of the record or away from the center of the record. Don't drag the brush across the surface. More on this in a bit. If after doing this once you still see dust on the record surface, you can repeat the process as many times as is necessary. And in between each clean, you can use the handle of the record brush to actually clean off the collected dust by rocking the fibers back and forth through the handle, as you can see me doing on the screen here. This way, you don't have to touch the brushes and get your greasy fingers on them. So of course you wanna do this away from the turntable so that the dust doesn't end up back on the record. For the best results, I recommend using one of these brushes before and after the playback of each side. And as long as you handle your records correctly and you put them back directly into their sleeve when you're not playing them, this will greatly reduce the amount of wet cleaning that you might have to do with your collection. It will save you a lot of time and your records will thank you and last for many years to come. There's more, much more to cover on the topic of this video, of course, but just for a moment, I want to thank the sponsors of Sound Matters for their continued support. First up is Groove Washer, who make my absolute favorite record cleaning fluid to use by hand, but also on record cleaning machines. Next up, of course, is 12 Inch, who make the beautiful bamboo-based record display systems that I use to display records on the wall behind me in every video, and of course, picture discs as well. Finally, it's Vinyl Moon, who are the best record subscription service if you love art-driven vinyl releases and discovering new artists. Each month, they work with a different artist to create beautiful and creative vinyl mixtapes of the best emerging music from around the globe. You'll find a discount code for each sponsor in the description, of course, but it's time to get back to the video and the topic. Now, there is quite a lot of debate about the correct way to use a carbon fiber brush, and most of this debate centers around how to remove the brush. For example, some folks will recommend slowly moving it towards the center, allowing the brush to make contact with the metal spindle before lifting it off the record surface. The theory is here that this method helps discharge the small amount of static that you generate when using one of these brushes. Another example is where users will recommend slowly pulling the brush in the opposite direction toward the edge of the record. The main issue I can see with both of these methods is that they both involve dragging the brush across the record surface, and there's always risk you could drag a particle across the record surface and cause damage by directly lifting the brush off the surface of the record without dragging it one way or the other, you minimize that risk. The record spinning on the deck, by the way, for anyone who's interested, is Talking to the People by Black Nasty, which is a 70s funk rock record. This particular version is a VMP release from the VMP Classics range. I highly recommend it. Superb album, real good Friday vibes for anybody who's into that kind of thing. Go check it out. There'll be a link in the description below. There's also a link in the description below, of course, to the AudioQuest Carbon Fiber Record Brush, which is the one that I use and that I recommend you pick up if you don't already have one of these brushes in your record cleaning arsenal. So that's it from me, but now it's over to you. Let us know down in the comments below what you think about the different approaches that are out there. Which one do you use? Do you agree with my approach or do you use something else? Or are you one of those people that fall into the camp of you simply won't use a carbon fiber record brush at all? I know there's a lot of people out there who won't touch them. So if you fall into that camp, let us know what your reason is down in the comments below. It's always great to hear from the wider vinyl community about the different opinions and approaches to 
these topics. So thank you ever so much for watching. If you are new to this channel, please do consider subscribing and we'll see you in that next one. Until then, keep spinning. Thank you.